Good morning, everyone. I hope that everybody had a good night's rest and are going to have a very enjoyable weekend, I hope. And there are some things that I want to talk to you about. And one of the things that I want to talk to you about for all those people that have been involved in this program or this RV slash QCR for under five years. If you haven't learned it by now, you need to learn that there is nothing in our control. Everything changes from minute to minute. And because of the powers that be that really do not want us to take part in any of this and that they would rather keep us out of it. But for those of you that are in a hurry, <clears throat> there is nothing about this process that is going to be speeded up. It may be slowed down, but it is not going to stop. And for all those people that have nothing better to do with their time than to create a problem for us by making statements that are not true. All right. There are people out there that are telling you that there's not going to be any 800 numbers. That don't put any information on the net. Go to this number that I'm going to give you to give you the 800 numbers. People, that's fraud. Very simply fraud. The reason why the 800 numbers are really not going to be available except through the safe link websites okay is because anybody can get an 800 number and anybody can put that 800 number out and they're only wanting to get your information about how many, how much dong do you have? How much dinar do you have? How much real do you have? And the biggie is how much zim do you have? And people are dumb enough to fall for it because they think that the person that they're talking to on the other end of the phone that they were given the 800 number to is legit and that doesn't make it so there are a lot of scams that are run through 800 numbers believe me a lot of them and some of them are Nigerian and some of them are based upon what's called the 419 scam okay that's what it's called and the other thing winds up and the reason for the safe link websites was for your protection. That's correct. You would get a notification with a with a link. You would go to that link, which is on a secure server system. Okay. You would answer general public questions so that they know who they are talking to. You know. One question could be, how many kids do you have? It's a matter of public record. They're not going to ask you a question that will not be in a private record. It will be in a public record. And if you've never opened up a new bank account online, that is the same type of system that they're using to gather the information so they know who they are going to be talking to. Once you fill it out and, you go, and you've answered all the correct answers to the question so that people know who you are, then you will be directed, they will direct you to 
an 800 number that will be specifically for you, not for anyone else, for you. And then you will be signing electronic NDA, uh, which is basically just where you acknowledge that uh, a computer sig signature. And uh, by printing your name on the document, and uh, shows that you've agreed to it, agreed to the NDA. Once the NDA is signed, you will be given the 800 number that is specifically for you. No one else, you. And then you will make your appointment to go into the Redemption Center to exchange or redeem what you have. They may ask you if you have currency. They're not going to ask you how much currency and what currency you have. They may ask you if you have dinar. I mean, uh, dong. Not dong, but zim. Sorry, it's early, it's early in the morning. I'm not through with my coffee yet. Uh, so if you have zim, you may, <clears throat> and you only have zim, they will direct you to another operator that will deal directly with the Zim issue and you will set your redemption appointment then and only then. So, but you can give the SafeLink website out to people, to your friends that you may have gifted currency or Zim to. And they will get a specific 800 number that is for them and it will be part of their identification at the redemption center <coughs> excuse me so um, everything is all done to through secure servers is and if you Answer an 800 number if somebody, in other words, nobody can give you an 800 number because they're, they're going to be specific to you. Once that number is used, it's dead. That's it. That stops fraud. Okay? That stops people trying to get your information through a bogus 800 number. So, the other thing is that I'm going to restate this again, and it has not changed. If you have, you can when you go into the Redemption Center, you if you do not like the rates, you can ask for a second appointment, or you can, or if you want to go right there, they will refer, they will send you over to a different part of the Redemption Center where you can sit down and have, <clears throat> and have up to 90 minutes to explain yourself. And if you have projects to show your uh, your bullet points and summaries of what it is that you're going to do. You're not going to present them with financial statements and what it's going to take to do this or do that or whatever. Forget it. You have a summary of what it is that you want to do. It's between three to four to five pages. And you present that and leave it with them. Okay? And I'm going to advise you that at all times, be nice. Yep. Be nice. Don't demand anything because you are not in the driver's seat. Nope. And if they don't like your attitude, they will march you right out of the redemption center and you will not be able to redeem or exchange. It's that simple. Okay. So, once you've got to the point to where if you want, you've have got through talking with them. They're going to offer you the default package. 
No one knows what's in the default package. No one. No one knows what it's going to be worth. No one knows anything other than when you show up, they will make you an offer. And that offer, you can take it or leave it. Doesn't make any difference. Nobody's going to show up in handcuffs. Nobody's going to show up and, and give you a hard time and tell you that you have to take this package. No. If you don't want to take the package, don't take it. If you want, that will be the thing that sets the second appointment or cause the appointment to go longer than 20 minutes. Okay? You got up to 90 minutes to do this. And if you don't like it, don't like it. But you, but once you go to the redemption center, you got to understand something. You record it. There's a record of you showing up. So you're not going to be able to go somewhere and try and get better rates. It's not going to work. All right? So the other thing is that if you wind up wanting to put your money into a uh, designated program, that's fine. Uh, they'll have a list there, or you give them your summary. Uh, if you want to put it into a uh, a an annuity type of program where you'll be getting money every month, every quarter, uh, every six months or every year, that's your choice. You can do that. The longer you put it in, the bigger the interest rate is going to be. The other thing is that on the ZIMS, if you have ZIMS and you decide to do an annuity program or structured payout, then you for the first 90 days, they will give you up to $500 million, okay, while you're waiting. The second thing on currency, while the currency rates are going to be very good, and I do not know what they are, if you have over a certain amount of currency, then you have the option of putting it into a structured payout, because once you exchange currency, you can get it all right there. You know, there's no 90-day wait. There's no 30-day wait. It's right there. It's instantly transferred into your into your uh, into your account wherever you want it to go or into your trust. So, but if you have enough currency and you get enough dollars, then uh, you you can put that into a structured account. And they will give you up to $250 million for you to last for 90 days. Then that's the time for your structured payout to start paying out, whether it's monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. And I don't know what the interest rates on that are for. The longer you leave it in, the, the more interest that you get. So... And the other thing is that I will go on to say this is that there's a lot of talk out there about, first of all, let me say this. In order for the RV to take place, the president has to be in the air, in another country, or sequestered. Okay? Did you hear that? He has to be in the air, or in another country, or sequestered. Okay, they have got him sequestered right now. And he does not have COVID-19. There was an altered test that was given, or said that was given to him, that made him and Melania positive for COVID-19. He's not. He's sequestered. So that should tell you something. Okay, the, the UBI, the Universal Basic Income, has started through the process now as of October 1st, where you will be getting $1,400 a month for every adult over the age of 18. Okay, so I do not know when you're going to see it in your bank account, okay? There were several announcements and several financial papers and on the internet that basically stated the Treasury is changing everybody's accounts to digital. 
so they can transfer the funds electronically into your accounts in a matter of seconds. Okay? So we are looking at some very good things. And I want to say this to you once, once and for all, and you need to understand. We are not in control. Things change minute by minute. And people that have been in this for a while understand that, okay? There are a lot of people that want to cause problems because they don't understand the process. The process is simple. Right now, we are to relax and to let it work, okay? So as it is right now, when we get any more updates, today or tomorrow, we will get them to you as quickly as possible. Also, understand that nothing in this process is written in concrete. So anybody that takes, that says, oh, the RV is going to happen on two weeks from Thursday. Pardon my French, you're full of shit. Because it's not going to happen. Because the minute that you would say something like that, they would change the date. All right? So relax. Take it easy. Go watch a movie. Go spend some time with your family. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much. Bye.